Hi and welcome. My name's Nick, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Oshare Home Use Herbal Tonics. Here is one of the herbal tonics that we commonly use. This is our tonic applicator. And here is our Oshare Hair Health Comb. So now I'll show you how to fill your tonic applicator with the tonic. So take your tonic, bottle of tonic out of the box. And just when you open it, you'll notice there's a brown rubber spout. Just take a, a pair of scissors and you just want to make, uh, you just want to cut just at the end of the very thin part of the spout, like that. And don't go all the way down. You just want a small hole there so you can squeeze the liquid into your, into your tonic applicator. All right, so now we'll take our applicator. We'll just open the, the top lid there and we'll squeeze the liquid into the top of the applicator. So put the rubber spout all the way in. It's a nice flexible plastic bottle. So you can squeeze the liquid in. That'll make it a bit, that'll make it quicker and easy to get in there. And you're looking for two thirds full. So you wanna, you wanna look at the a side view of the applicator. There's the, there's the top point and there's the bottom point. You want two thirds full, which is 10 mil. That's our standard regrowth dosage. So we'll um, keep going till we get two thirds full. If you're doing a maintenance dosage, then it will be five mil, which is one third full. Okay, so that's just the difference there between the two dosages. All right, so we've got our liquid in there, two thirds full, which is 10 mil. And we'll just pop our, our lid back on. We'll just uh, press it down and give it a bit of a twist to your right. Okay, so it's nice and firm and it, we're ready to, ready to apply. Let's start by using our Oshare Hair Health Comb. It's a great way to warm up the scalp and stimulate your hair follicles to, to help assist with uh, tonic absorption. So we, we take the comb, let's start from the frontal hairline in the middle and we'll go all the way back. Nice firm stroking action here. Be straight to that midline. Then let's move out to the, to the side a little bit, to the right. Again, nice and firm. Let's stimulate the blood circulation, we'll warm up the scalp, open up the pores so the tonic will get absorbed easier. If I come over here to the, just above the ear. We'll go a line just above the ear and then down towards the back of the ear. Just there. Come over to the left side here. Way back. And again, just above your left ear. As far back as you can go. Nice firm strokes. And now we're ready for our tonic application. I would have a, uh, a tissue handy just in case you get a little bit of, uh, bit of the liquid dripping uh, forward. And another good idea is just to have your head tilted back. So we've got our tonic, uh, we've got our tonic ready to go. Uh, just one more point, please apply the tonic to dry hair and scalp. Okay, so if you've just washed your hair, let it, let it dry please. Okay, so Start with our tonic and we'll start just at, again at that midpoint, same point we did when we were using our comb, just on the frontal hairline. Head back a little bit and just use a tapping motion. You can start with a tapping motion and put a bit of pressure with this as well. Okay, so the pressure will help to, again, stimulate the follicles and help the blood circulation. So this is the tapping method that I'm doing now. And I'm just working on the midline all the way back down to the crown. Okay, you can also use a, what we call a short stroking method, a combing method. Again, from the hair, from the front hairline, and then we're steadily going back. So we're applying a bit of liquid and just getting the area a little bit wet, and then we're moving further back to the crown. So these are the common areas that are affected. Okay, then we'll go out to the right side. Okay, again, find that mid, uh, sorry, the uh, front hairline, a bit of tapping of combing technique, short stroke. You can do a longer stroke as the area gets a bit wetter. So just going all the way back and just applying the, the tonic nice and evenly. All the way back to the crown again. Okay. And uh, just going a bit further out. A bit of tapping, a bit of combing there. 
steadily going back towards the crown. And might get one more line. You basically want to go from the mid the midline out to the um, probably the around the lateral edge of the uh, eyebrow there. So this might be our last line. A bit of tapping. Go a little bit further if you like, just for that temple region. And also, when using the um, tonic on the on the side of your on the side of the scalp, just make sure to tilt your head a little bit to the opposite side, just so the uh, the metal legs of the uh, applicator are sort of at a 90 degree angle to your scalp. That will ensure the the most um, efficient absorption. Okay, and be sure to to use all of the liquid in the tonic. And just right at the end of your application, as you're getting towards those last few drops, you'll have to switch to the tapping technique just to get those last few drops out. You'll be applying more liquid to the to the area that is most affected by your by your problem. We've done our, uh, our right side and we'll do the same thing over to the left side. So I'll just do that, demonstrate that quickly. Okay, a little bit of tapping and a bit of combing. All the way back. Right back to the crown there. Next line over. All the way back. And like I said, just keep applying in those lines until you get out to probably about the lateral, lateral part of your eyebrow. And you can do a bit more at the temple area if you need. For people with alopecia areata, which is more of a patchy hair loss, then you won't follow this exact method. You'll focus on where your patches are and you'll still use the tapping or that sort of combing method as well, just on the patchy area though. Okay, so that's for alopecia areata. You can also use your hair health comb during your tonic application. So simply just with one hand, have your, apply your tonic and just give it a few strokes, a few comb, combing strokes with the comb. And this will give you a little bit more stimulation as you're working through it. After you've finished your tonic application, be sure to give a nice rinse to your applicator just to keep it functioning well. The little metal legs at the bottom, they can get blocked if you don't uh, keep it clean uh, regularly. So my suggestion is after you've finished your, your application, every, every day, just get a bit of running water in the basin and just rinse the uh, bottom part and the top part and then use some very firm shaking action and just shake any excess uh, water into the, into the basin and then put, your, uh, put the applicator back back in the little base there and let it and let it dry naturally. You don't need to dry it, uh, you don't need to towel dry it or anything. So that's how to apply your home use tonics. They're a great way to regrow your hair naturally without side effects.